Polish, Polish, Polish. This one is a third in my um, series of looks like. I'm using here uh, black African wood. It's quite unique wood, difficult to find and um, quite hard to work with. It makes a lot of dust, very hard wood, makes a lot of dust. Uh, I'm cutting three steps, three pieces of wood. Each one is like 50% smaller than the previous one. And I'm going to create like three steps. But just to let you know that um, African black wood, it, it's quite hard and it makes a lot of dust, like I said. And it's very difficult to, to mix it with resin because when you polish it in the end, it takes all the time, pushes out um, dust and it scratches the resin. And I hope that on this one, I'll manage to avoid it and come to come to a, a complete uh, see-through resin. I hope so. I haven't got a clue what came on me. I decided to paint with the uh, golden resin the steps. Uh, I don't know why. Um, created a, a box, um, a vessel for the for the resin, and I'm going to put this vessel into another bucket. So in case that it leaks, it's not going to leak in the pressure pot. If you have a look here, the, the wood is so heavy that I don't have to put anything above it, on top of it, to keep it down. Uh, goes into a pressure pot also. This one for 24 hours. Actually, I left it longer. And now I'm going to mark it um, just to create on one side a tenant so it will be easier to start working with it. The measuring I'm doing at the sizes of the wood and not the sizes of the, um, the resin also. And here I'm creating a tenet. It's a very small tenet because I'm going to use my mini chuck. Um, it's a jet mini chuck um, because the, the whole the whole size of the, of, of this cup is a little bit, this coffee cup is a little bit small. So I'm going to use my mini um, uh, jet chuck. Just forgot to tell you at the beginning that uh, the idea, that will be the, th the third one that I'm doing the look like and this one is going to be coffee because after um, I'm, I made um, a goblet for wine and I made a, a beer mug for beer it's about time to take uh, to have a cup of coffee and to clear the head a little bit The tools that I'm using on this project are uh, carbine tools, and those ones are from um, black line tools. Um, in one stage, you will see it's a small area that I'm using, then I'm using um, um, the small uh, carbine from um, Easy Tools. John from um, Blackline Tools told me after he watched one of my videos that if I'm going to use the black line, the, the triangle one, and I'm going to put it in an angle, it will it will cut very nicely. And, and it really is doing very fine cuts. By the way, guys, don't forget to comment at the bottom. It's very important for me. And... Um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and to like it also. In the foot of the coffee mug, I'm creating a recess and it's going to be for me to, that I'm going to hold the whole project when I'll turn it around. Um, here you can see I'm using the small, 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 um, carbine from easy tools and then I'm going to turn around the speed the direction and I'm going to use um, a diamond um, shape to cut in so it will be so it will reinforce where I'm going to hold the check Yes. 
that this black African wood is making it unbelievable. It's worse than Paduk and it goes everywhere. But I mean everywhere. I'm going to use from 150 all the way to 600 and then I'm going to use water pads um, to, to, to sand and after the water pads I'm going to use the um, Novas all the way and after the Novas I'm going to try and put on top of the wood ah here can you see that I found out I've got a crack and I tried to fill it up with some uh, resin and gold. Let's see later how it's going to come out. And um, I'm going to do uh, Obi Shine Juice on top of everything. And I want to see how Obi Shine Juice works on um, on Black African wood. I'm just with this now. What you see, I'm just cleaning up the dust and 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 uh, from from the polishing. You already can see the, the gold that I put inside. Um, I wonder how it's going to look. I hope it's going to look the way that I, I plan to. Uh, and it's going to shine and going to be only on the edges. Uh, let's see. Uh, time will tell. Um, I'm doing the whole exercise from the outside before I turn it around. So I don't have to put a lot of pressure on the project uh, later. Um, when I'll put it in the small chuck. Surprisingly, the um, Obishan juice worked very nice on it. However, I can say that that's one of the things that uh, I'm not happy with is that those two lines over there, those are the lines where I glued together the, this wood. It, does, it did not match nicely together. I'm not so happy with it. Um, but like they say, it is what it is. I'm going to drill out the majority with the 60 mil drill and then um, I'm going to reverse direction and I'm going to uh, hollow it with the reverse direction. I found out it's quite easier uh, and I can see better what I'm doing when I do reverse direction and I start for in the corners, the deep ones, I don't have to cut my fingers. Well. So only in the corners I'm using is strongly the, the pad that I, I made and then I'll go back and I'll use like here my fingers and I'll be very careful not to cut it so I don't have to put plasters or uh, duct tape or whatever. I'm using the pad <coughs> and uh, the water pad and you can see on the color that comes out of it, it's quite dark black. So that, that comes also, I have no choice, I have to also work on the wood and the wood comes out very, with a lot of dust, even that I'm using water and I'm worried that it's going to scratch my resin and uh, it will never be see through clear as I want it to be. Like as usual, I'm using Novas uh, 3.2 to um, polish 
Um, I'm going to polish it inside and outside again. The outside looks like it's got some scratches and I'll be very honest with you, I worked on this thing for almost two and a half hours and I get the scratch and I managed to get rid of the scratch and then I get the scratch in another place. I never had, you see, I never had this situation before. Never, never. And so I, I reckon it is or because I made a mistake with with the resin, um, a small mistake, or because the combination of black African wood and resin created it. Um, but I was afraid of it. And then I put my logo on and it's almost, almost finished. Hey, thank you for sticking around. Uh, to the end of the video, whoever stays around, uh, that's my third project on, uh, it looks like, seems like illusion, like uh, I had the, the first one was my goblet, the second was my beer, now it's my coffee, ah, oh, it got dirty inside. My coffee mug with uh, a golden line on a step, so I will call it a step coffee. Um, so I made some coffee at the bottom here. I hope you like the project. It didn't come out as I wanted. Um, I, I visually it a little bit different, but it came out nice. Um, and I hope you also liked it. If yes, you know, subscribe, like, and comment at the bottom. Thank you very much and have a magical day and I'll see you on my next one.